So this weekend, the Royal Commonwealth Society of Canada held its national conference here in Edmonton. We had delegates from all over the country, from each province, as far away as Prince Edward Island and as close as British Columbia next door. We had uh, a variety of educational speakers that talked on a variety of topics. Uh, these speakers were from all walks of life, all cultural backgrounds. It was one of the most diverse conferences I've ever been to. We had uh, right from uh, indigenous peoples, we had, uh, uh, we had a political party leader. Uh, he didn't get too political, but it was good. We had uh, people that work with immigration, uh, such a wide variety of topics. That's the beauty about the Commonwealth. It's such a wide encompassing organization. It's really a big family and we can bring everyone into that family. RCS in Canada, uh, where we focus on youth, which is the National Student Commonwealth Forum, we were asked by the first Secretary General of the Commonwealth Secretariat was a Canadian, Arnold Smith. It wasn't a British, it wasn't from another, it was a Canadian. We've had leadership. We have a lot of leadership in Canada. The first Commonwealth Games was where? In Canada. So that's what we do. It's important for us to express our international leadership, but also we owe the very concept of Canada to the concept of come, come participate. You're going to enjoy also our social events. When I first heard about the Royal Commonwealth Society, I wasn't really sure what the Commonwealth was uh, in the first place. But when I became involved as a delegate in high school with the National Student Commonwealth Forum, I, it really opened my eyes to the impact the Commonwealth has at the government level. And by joining uh, an RCS branch, I was able to understand uh, how civil society can play a role in the Commonwealth and that it is truly a network of networks. The Royal Commonwealth Society is a volunteer organization and not only do you get to volunteer but you get to uh, increase your skill set, leadership, management, project management um, and interpersonal skills. You also get to network with really interesting people, people in government, pe MPs, senators and experts in various fields in Canada. And, um, the ability to volunteer for Commonwealth organizations such as the Royal Commonwealth Society really affords you the opportunity to expand your horizons and skills and maybe uh, find a, a career in it. So the Royal Commonwealth Society has a variety of branches across Canada. Now this is really neat because each uh, city can do its own thing and we work on a consensus model. So RCS Canada is a way for those different branches to work together on items of common cause. But what's really cool about the consensus model is we don't force anyone to do anything against their will. We don't have a majority vote rules, any of that stuff. Each member, each participating member has to come to a consensus and agree on an idea and then we can move forward with it.